Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is John, the RPG Lord. Today we're going to learn how to create an adventure in five minutes or less. This is the second part of the video. If you haven't watched it, watch the first video where I'll show you the list of most common verbs. Now, before you on the screen, you see a chart that I use to get over writer's block in my adventure planning. Last time, in the previous video, we rolled on the verbs. And the verbs we got were land, visit, rid, and heal. And now I'm going to show you how you turn those into a functioning story. When you look at the chart, first thing is your main plot. That's where you write your name of your campaign, and wherever. Then you take the four verbs that you have rolled and arrange them in any order that you see fit. Now, the first one we have here is land. And on top of it, you see a bubble that says place. Now, where they're going to land? In my adventure, they're going to land on a forgotten island. So here you have to ask the W questions. Why, where, when, how, who, with whom, what, what. If you answer all of those, you're going to get a pretty good idea of the setting and can get planning on your map. So start with your map here. I would create a map of the island. Then the next uh, bubble I have is conflict. Does anybody or anything keep them from landing there? Are there maybe reefs around or sea monsters? Or is there a hostile tribe on the island? In literature, we have seven conflicts. You might have learned that in your English class in high school, but it applies for D&D as well. You have man versus self, man versus society, man versus man, man versus nature, man versus the supernatural, man versus technology, or man versus the unknown. So pick one of those if you are not sure who is going to be the major antagonist or antagonistic forces. In my case, the conflict is going to be there's a hostile tribe that claims that island and is going to try to keep the players from landing there and exploring the island. Then, what are the conditions is the next bubble. Why are they landing on the island? Where, in my case, it's directly related to the second bubble with visit. They have to visit a long-lost temple on the island. Why are they going there? Because in the long lost temple, they find the artifact, which is uh, related to the other plot lines, which is heal and rid. They have to heal the king and get rid of a curse. So that's my, uh, that's my plan here. So now the next uh, bubble that you have there is a climactic event. I'm going to skip this for now. I'm going to go to major characters. That's where I would create major NPCs whom they run into. Maybe there's a hermit living on the island that can help them, give them information. Maybe you want the tribal chieftain to be a special NPC if they're being captured. So in the major characters, all you have to focus about is pretty much their name, gender, race, alignment, you know, very much the basic. You do not need a long, drawn-out backstory until they are absolutely major, like a boss monster, maybe. You want their strengths and weaknesses, but above all, what motivates them. So that's what you put in. Once you have that, we have the whole landing part of the island. So what would I do here? I would create the map of the island. I would populate it. I would draw up my major NPC characters. Why does the tribe not want them to land there? I would probably pick my monsters. And with that, the island would be done. Then I go to my na in next bowl, or my next verb, and it's visit. Visit the forgotten temple of Helioan. So 
Why are they going there? Because they find an artifact, let's say an amulet that can heal the king. So I would go, uh, that would be all under the place. I would draw the map of the dungeon. And if you have trouble um, creating a dungeon, watch my previous videos on where I go step by step on how to create a dungeon. And I do the same thing, major characters, climactic events, maybe they have to destroy a major boss monster in that. And here's my, uh, my adventure. Very simple, very straightforward, with those four verbs. And with this bubble, I can create campaigns as long as I want to, and as many as I want to. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, there's only one RPG Lord. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I wish you a good day, and I see you in the next video.